can you trace a signature and still fool people? Well, first, it depends on the definition of people. So could you trace a signature and fool a bank teller or something like that? Yes, I'm sure that happens frequently. Uh, when it comes to fooling a forensic expert, there's going to be a big difference. So based on, number one, a series of known signatures. Number two, the speed of execution of the signature. In other words, when you're tracing a signature, it's going to be slowly drawn and executed because you think of it like coloring, right? You're trying to stay within the lines. You're trying to follow the line as closely as you can. You're not going to have pressure variation like you would normally have in a signature with lighter up pressure, heavier down pressure, or vice versa. You're not going to have feathered beginning and ending strokes and things like that. So tracings have their own set of evidence that a forensic expert would look for that a general person like a bank teller or a school teacher or someone like that might not know to look for. So it's much harder. Now, when you have the absence of an original, like a photocopy, some of those things disappear. So you might not be able to see the speed of execution. You might not be able to see pressure variation. So there are times where a tracing, if done well, and you don't have the model that it was traced from, can be very difficult to detect from merely a copy, like a photocopy, a facsimile, or something like that. But in general, if you have an original document, you're going to be able to tell if it was a tracing or not.